So you've all came to this video looking for the best builds. Well, lucky for you, that is exactly what I'm going to present to you. So if you didn't know, obviously I've just released a video about a Vikram solo build, but obviously following along a video is not always the easiest thing to do. Or you might want to cut to the chase and you might want to get to the best build. Or you might want to share your own build for a chance for me to actually try and use it and see how good it actually is and rate it based on one simple thing. I'm talking about Skull and Bones tools. Now I have spoken about this in the past. However, it has gone through some serious improvements and updates to the site. As we can see here, Heinz has been working really strongly and trying to improve it constantly. And uh, he's basically brung something which I would call gold to the website. So not only does it have its calculator that you'd see here. So especially if you're looking to upgrade one of your new ships, let's just say, uh, you want to know how to, let's, let's just remove all of these requirements that I've got in here. Let's just select all. And now let's just say the new ship has been released, which is the Garuda. So we press A to that, and then we can see here the required materials for the Garuda. Not only that, we've got ship upgrades. So if we go to ship upgrades, and then after we've added the Garuda, we've got Garuda upgrade 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. With doing that, we can see exactly how many materials we need of each in order to be able to upgrade it to the max. But that's not what I'm here for. Obviously, this is just to show you the features if you are new to the game or you didn't know how this works. So yes, you can see here literally all the materials or the materials required to make the material needed to so the raw materials to make the refined version of that material. That goes to weapons and everything else. But the main reason we're here is for the builds like I mentioned. Now, where are the builds? If we go here to the loadout hub, we can see now in the loadout hub, there is loads of flipping builds. Now you do need to have an account in order to upload your own, but you do not need an account to be able to see others. So we can see here, they've been upvoted. If I like this build, for instance, I could press this and uh, get it upvoted, or I could press it and downvote it, just basically to say that that is a build that I actually recommend and I think that is really good. Now you can also favorite this and when you favorite it, obviously you can click on your favorites and it will appear there. So if I was to click that now and then I go over to my favorites, that build will show on my favorites. So it's easy to remain there. Um, and they, this could be with any ship. So if I'm looking for the Dow, bam, that would pop up. If I'm looking for the Bed Art, they would pop up. The Hulk, the Cutter, the Barge, the Sloop, etc. All of the small, mediums, seasonal versions of the builds. If it's for PvP, whether it's for PvPVE, PvE itself, DPS tank support events, explosive flooding, you, you name it. It's all pretty self-explanatory across the side here. But I'm going to be uploading my build that I've just made uh, for the Vikram solo. So you guys can see how to upload a, a build. And then also uh, you can see how to obviously go ahead and use one. So firstly, let's go and see this punctured lightning mark too. Well, I'd click the play button right here. And when I'm on it, I can see the ship is a Garuda and it's upgraded to level 6. It's the new version of the fast killing sniper build. Strengths, high DPS, fast kills. Weaknesses, defense is not that high. Most DPS is from the front. Now we can see the furnitures that are put on here, which are pretty cool to see. Uh, we've also got everything else that's been posted on here. In, in, it like the increases charge rate of Stormstruck status effects on targets by 8%. Increased duration of Stormstruck status effects by 8%. As well as the other stuff here, like the cannibal... Uh, charging station we've got the four aisles on the side divine funders on the front of the back and then we've got the eye of haven and then we've got the buccaneers oath obviously to improve the overall damage it does once the build has been made it shows the dps on its own it shows dps with perks it shows dps with perks and crit it shows the armor and the health and the gear score of the ship now we've got details so if you want to know it exactly you can see gear scores and every little detail about the ships whether it's damage types damage per second or per uh, area so if it's the front back um, and then obviously we see what type of weapon it is uh, whether it's on the port and it's the four aisles we can see everything to do with that the crew speeds what we're increasing what we're decreasing when it comes to armors this is absolutely incredible now we can hide the details or we can also open the external window if we want to copy it and share it to others so here as well the cosmetics that have been used you can actually go ahead and put the cosmetics on there and uh, you can see exactly what cosmetics have been used on that ship. So we've got the Clash and Burn, the Solemn Duty, the Embrace of the Flames, uh, Rashaka, the Fiend. You've got all these little bits of bobs here and obviously if you want to know how to get them, 
you could, for, for instance, click on the Grimsy Swashbucklers, and then bam, you can see it costs you 800 pieces of eight, and it's from the helm, you need a humor. That works as well with obviously the Solemn Duty. How do I get this? It's Contract Reward Outpost Ruin Lighthouse, or it's from possible from drop from DMC Treasure, etc. It's literally the most incredible website ever for builds. Now, if PvP is coming, that has been rumored to come, uh, then obviously this is going to be the best site for PvP builds for you to share or for you to obtain, but also as well for PvE, especially with the mythic content coming. Uh, we're going to want to know how to complete the mythic boss or have the best builds for that. Well, I've just done the dangerous solo and I'm going to be sharing my build. So here I'm going to click post loadout. In here, I'm going to enter a name. So I'm going to enter, um, I think, solo Vic Ram dangerous is fitting for this. Description, best build for solo in Best build to solo Vic Ram Rajan Dangerous. Now, what strengths have it got? High DPS, six front cannons, or six front long guns. Then weaknesses, slow turn rate, and not much furniture to counter low armor as needed for dps now the breakdown i can enter a full breakdown here so I put the new boss is mechanically heavy however if you could kill it fast enough you don't really have to worry much about that and in this case we kill it fast enough okay so code for the loadout obviously i'm going to need to open up the designer to make the exact loadout for you guys so here i click open designer and uh, when i do this i need to put all the furniture on my ship so as we know, for the major furniture, we've got the Chulin's Guidance. Uh, for all of the other furnitures, I'm going to have to go ahead and put them on. I've got the Charge Stores. I've got Low Potent Schematics. I've got the Front Powder Kegs. I've got the Plague Bringers Ward. And I've got Beam Supports. I've got a little bit of armor to go ahead with that. Um, then for the weapons, for the front, obviously here we can see how many weapons we've got on each thing. Now I've done this wrong. I should have gone over and selected the ship. So I've got the Gruder and I've got it upgraded to level 6. This is where I wanted to put the furniture on. My bad, so just give me a second. Okay, so there's the furniture and as we can see now, it's got 6 front weapon ports. So we can see exactly how many on the top deck, how many lower deck, and then we've got the sides and the rear as well. So front, we know that obviously we're using top deck weapons. We've got advanced uh, long guns and we can see here as well, that is the Picari 3. You can see exactly what status effects does. We can see it's got toxic piercing or you've got torn sails or you've got lightning and stuff like that. In this case, we've got Picare Freeze for the front. So let's go ahead and select them. Then we have got on the side, we've got Divine Thunder. The rear, we've also got Divine Thunder. And then on the other side, we've got Divine Thunder. And then for the uh, auxiliary, we are using Spring Loader and Enhanced Spring Loader. And we have got the Blight Keeper to defend ourselves. For the armor, we're still currently using the Black Prince um, because it's really good. I haven't really had much time to try all the other stuff. But this is our loadout. So once you've made your loadout, you want to click share here at the top. You want to copy code. Once you've copied the code, you can go back to the original page, which is here. And then you can enter loadout code there. And you can literally let that be and do its thing. Then we want to select exactly what modes it's good in. So PVE, PVE, BP and PVP. Well, I could select all of them. But I'm actually going to remove it from PVP because it's more PVP, VE if needed. But it's more PVE uh, heavy. Now, what damage types is it? It's got piercing, electric, poison. Uh, and then that is really it. You could put some other things, obviously, because of the after effects from these. But I'm not going to. These are the general effects that it does. And the archetypes, DPS uh, and event type as well. Now, I can enter my YouTube URL. So if you've got a YouTube video as well, you could do the same thing. So there we go. I've got the YouTube. So I will paste that there. That is my YouTube video. And then you can have it so it shows author. And at that point, we can go ahead and click post loadout. Now your loadout got successfully posted and gets now reviewed. You can go back to the overview page or visit your loadout. So let's go ahead and visit loadout. And once you visit loadout, this is what it will look like. Solo Vikram Dangerous by Deathwish Gaming. I don't know why it shows Deathwish Gaming. Obviously, it's Deathwish. 
Uh, but yeah, it's up there as Deathwish Gaming. That's obviously my account, I'm guessing, my profile. Yeah, it just shows username, Death, Deathwish Gaming. So that, that will have to do, I suppose. Um, and then we got the, it's the ship is the Garuda 6. Best build solo, Vikram, Rajan, Dangerous. Um, and then it's obviously got all our stats that we just put before. It shows DPS, it shows DPS with perks. And it shows DPS with perks, crit. And then obviously you see my video at the bottom that you can simply just click on and it will take you to the video itself. Now when we look at this DPS and the DPS with perks, it doesn't look that strong compared to the one that we saw earlier. So if we go now to the loadout hub and we go and click on Punctured Lightning Mark II. This was uploaded by Stice uh, NL. So let's go ahead and look at the difference of DPS. So he's got... DPS 8615 was DPS with perks 11491. Let's just quickly go back and just compare that. So if we look at it, he's got a lot more DPS than me. But obviously it might mean that the way the furniture works differently. Let's go in and have a look um, and see what we're looking at here. So it's a sniper build with scoping station, Divine Thunder. It's got the four aisle and the broadside because it's also piercing. I have Haven Mortar for electric, extra electric damage. Who could is Oath gives extra damage and armor, and it's a good choice because you can kill ships pretty fast. So I'm going to go and put this on a ship, and I'm actually going to go and try and kill Vikram Rajan solo and see if it actually works any better. So here we are back on the game. Let's go ahead and click Manage Ship. Now we're going to leave the or put change the furniture to what it's required. So we've got the Chulin's guidance. We've got the charge shores or stores, should we say? Sorry. Uh, we need the amber coating station, which is... We need to remove that. We need to put the amber coating station. Where are we? Which is this one. Then we need to put the cannibal charging station, which I don't have. So I'm going to have to put the high velocity kegs on, which I also don't have. So long gun works. Let's put the armor on, which was the Buccaneers Oath. This one. Uh, and then for the weapons, we want to go and put the divine thunder. All... On the front, and we want to put it on the rear as well. And then the sides, we want to put the full aisles, which are them two. And then for the top, we want to put the heaven, eye of haven. Um, and then I just need to quickly go and craft them two pieces of armor or furniture. Sorry. So to get them, I need to go over to Lenitra and purchase both this one, craft that, put that on, which is a cannibal charging station. And now the last one, the high velocity kegs, I can't seem to find. So if we click on it and we go over to it, we can see the reason why. So season four, Shadows of the Deep, and it's from the event Azure Solitis, the Azure Royale, and possible drop from the Azure Strongbox attained when defeating the Azure Royale. Now, when is the Azure Royale come into the game? If we go back to the game and we press start and we go to seasonal calendar, we can see that the Azure uh, Solitus does not come until the 3rd of December, meaning we can't actually fully complete this build. So I would recommend, guys, if you're going to upload a build, make sure you upload a build that can actually be used because we don't know if it's actually any good. That means it hasn't been tested, so it doesn't know if it's actually any good. But let me have a look at what it does and see if we can get anything to counter it. So basically, it says that it does... Uh, increases secondary damage of piercing weapons by 15% and increases maximum range of piercing weapons by 8%. Now, as we can't get anything to really counter that or to act like that, I'm guessing we're just going to have to put increased front weapon damage. No, because that doesn't increase everything overall. Yeah, so there's nothing I can see really that's got the similar property. So I'm just going to put the front powder kegs on uh, and we get the increased weapon damage. Obviously, it's only the front rather than the overall but this is the build. What should we go and kill? I don't think it's going to be possible to kill out Vikram Rajan with it. I might be completely wrong, uh, but I don't personally think this is the build to do it. We could give it definitely give it a go, that's for sure. Um, let me go ahead and put on some mortar bombs. Let's get some more restoration kits because we're probably going to need it, especially with not having a shield. And let's go and get some more repair kits. We're probably definitely going to need some of them to go and take this down as well. Uh, so let's head to all the little islands over here and just quickly get around myself a load of them and then I'll be back in a moment. Now I've got some enhanced repair kits. But if we look at the map, this is not going to respawn for a good another seven minutes. But this has got three minutes left. Let's see if it's got enough might to take out the weaker version of Vikram, which is super duper easy, but within three minutes. Which typically the other build that I had would do. Um, but I am curious to see how well this fends. Because it might actually be... 
a lot stronger than I think. But I'm not got massive confidence. Um, I would still probably put the Picari Freeze just for the overall more damage um, that it does have or does hold. So we have got a Mortar as well, which is pretty cool that we can go and chuck that on it. So let's quickly fire that off. And then let's fire away. Oh, I forgot. I've got them on the side. Okay, so I am doing damage to it. Pretty impressive. And it's not the greatest of waters to be fighting him in, to be fair. Are we going to do it in three minutes, though? That is the question for sure. They are hitting hard. There we go. So we managed to do it in three minutes. That was pretty darn cool, actually. I didn't mind the build. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, and then if you're not part of the Twitch world, Twitch drops, drops are occurring. Um, so if you want to get them Twitch drops, then make sure you go ahead and follow me down below on Twitch and on Discord. And when I go live on Twitch, uh, you'll be able to come and claim them drops. See you in the next one. Peace.